How to spot synthetic terpenes. The cannabis industry hates synthetic terpenes, terpenes that are made in a lab. But unscrupulous dealers are trying to sell you synthetic terpenes cheaply, and it's up to you to be able to spot them. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to spot synthetic terpenes in this week's episode, how to spot synthetic terpenes from the Terpene Institute. All right, so like everything in the world, China is getting into the terpene industry. Now, that's a ballpark statement, but I can tell you as a terpene manufacturer, I've been in this business for years, I brought these cannabis terpene profiles to market, I'm seeing some differences in the market. And what we're seeing, like you're seeing synthetic CBDs coming from China, we're seeing a lot of synthetic terpenes coming from China as well. These are terpenes that are created into a laboratory. A lot of people are trying to jump in this game. They're uh, taking copies of our test results and they're just making crap and they're putting it out there cheap. And where does that leave you? I don't know, man. Do you want to smoke synthetic terpenes? Is that the type of business you're running? Are you serving synthetics to people? I hope not. And I hope you don't get exposed for that because it can ruin your company. Uh, just a little bit of advice. I would recommend that if you are, you tell people, and if you're not, try buying some different products. But point is, how do you spot something that's synthetic? It's kind of hard when you're looking at a bunch of clear bottles and your goal is running a company, not being a chemist. So I'm going to tell you a couple clues when you're buying terpenes, if something is synthetic or not. Now, first off, my name is Drew, owner of MrExtractor.com. My cannabis terpene profiles are in millions of pens all across the country. We supply some of the largest manufacturers in the country. We can supply you too and teach you how to create your own pen line. Now, all of these companies have something in common. They all purchase terpenes. Now, some manufacturers are taking synthetic terpenes and supplementing their terpenes with it, or they're just creating the whole blend from terpenes. So how do you really know? So first off, average terpenes are gonna be clear, like these bottles in front. Most of them are clear, slightly foggy, slightly yellow. Now, they only come in so many flavors, and I know that's an arguable statement, but they really do. So like, if you're tasting something that's banana, that's not a banana terpene. The banana is created from tons of different flavors. Like you've got a whole, huge array of flavors that create the taste of banana. So when you have a bottle that you're buying from another company and it's terpenes and it's called like, I don't know, a banana OG and it's clear and it tastes like a banana, those are synthetic terpenes. Now, how do you know this? Because first off, banana is oil-based. Oh, excuse me, banana is not oil-based. Banana is water-based. You're not gonna get a banana oil that mixes with terpenes or with THC. So the only way you're gonna get that banana flavoring is from uh, artificial components. Now, that's first off, right off the bat, knowing something is a fruit flavor that's clear. Anything that's clear like that, that tastes like a fruit, is a synthetic flavor because bananas aren't clear, obviously, and anything you're pulling out of it that's clear is a synthetic. Plus, it would have to be made from a whole bunch of different stuff. I've talked with a lot of actual flavor manufacturers to verify this, and it is 100% true. So when you're buying something like a Stranana from a company, their bottle's clear, everything's clear, the strawberry and the banana is synthetic. You can't get a strawberry and a banana that's um, natural because they're naturally water-based. And if you were to mix it with THC, it'd be all foggy and it would separate. So in our flavor line, we do use some synthetic components for flavoring. The difference is that we tell people. Majority of our components are all natural. You can kind of mimic the flavors of banana from different all natural stuff in there, but sometimes you do have to use synthetic. So we keep everything that is synthetic in our flavored line. If you want to learn more about the flavored line, go to the uh, flavored line video. It'll explain exactly the components and why we do that. So um, another thing is price. If you are getting terpenes that are super cheap, think about it, dude. You get what you pay for. So a lot of super cheap terpenes, they are synthetic. Now, what's the problem with synthetics? That's a debatable issue because um, not all things that are synthetic are bad. That's just the truth. The cannabis industry doesn't like synthetic things. You know, they'll sit there and cry and whine about synthetics and then they'll go drink a Gatorade and go eat at McDonald's and then go, you know, smoke cigarettes and do all sorts of crazy shit with other synthetic things, but not cannabis, right? You know, I, I don't really get that or respect it, but whatever, if people want to try that, that's fine. Synthetics are okay in certain situations, but you really, as a manufacturer, have to understand when you're using synthetics, what synthetics you're using and what the interactions can be. So like I said, if you don't wanna use any synthetic products, try our organic line and our all natural line. They have nothing synthetic in them. 
If you don't mind synthetic flavors and you want things like blueberry and bubble gum and strawberry and all these other things, try a flavored line. That's organic terpenes mixed with some synthetic products to give you the flavoring. Now, we know what we're using. We've been using really good, high quality, vape grade synthetic stuff in our flavored line for a long time. When you're dealing with underground companies that are just buying things directly from China, who knows what the hell they're putting in there. And I guarantee, I, I can't, I wish I could tell you stories about the companies that I know of. I buy their products, I test it out, I see them. It's not very good. It can, I'm not even gonna go farther into that. So look, if you're buying products that are abnormally cheap, it's probably synthetic. I've heard a lot of people be like, I don't care. I'm just trying to save a buck. It's on you, man. I care. Um, Try finding high quality components, high quality terpenes are gonna cost a little bit more, but I think your customers are willing to pay for it. And just ask your customers, just ask them. Be like, dude, these products have synthetic components. These products don't, these are a little bit more. People who care will pay a little bit more. Offer your customers and clients the choice and some good knowledge, go from there. Remember, if it's a clear bottle and it's not just weed flavoring, it's got some weird strawberry or uh, banana or coconut flavor, that is a synthetic terpene that is mixed in there. You can't get those flavors clear naturally. If it's abnormally cheap, it's probably synthetic. You can ask them, they may lie to you, but you can ask them, all right? Um, if you wanna know for sure, buy my products. I'll tell you exactly what's in them. I have them separated, I don't care which one you buy, just buy one of them, all right? My name is Drew, I'm the owner of MrExtractor.com. If you wanna try any of our stuff or get it in bulk, our main goal is selling bulk uh, terpenes to manufacturers, we sell hundreds of gallons every month. Go to MrExtractor.com and if you wanna learn more about terpenes, get some knowledge, learn a business, create your own business, uh, expand your business line, go to the Terpene Institute, I'm compiling all of my knowledge in there for free so that you can get a good, simple, common sense understanding of how to operate in this business, all right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.